Yo, what's going on boys? So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best settings for your clipping software. I recommend that you guys use OBS because this is easily the best clipping software and it's not even close. Uh, so first, obviously, you guys are going to want to go to OBS's website, right? L, Windows, and just download. I'm already on the late, like one of the more later versions, so I can't be as updated. But once it's done, open up, go to settings. And then if you guys stream, make sure that this is just on Twitch or your service. The region doesn't really matter, destination, all this is fine. Go to your output. For streaming, you wanna aim for anywhere from five to seven K, eight K at most, if possible. Um, for me, these settings have always proven to be good enough and have always been fine. So you're gonna wanna be on medium quality. Also your video encoder, I can't change it because I'm a, uh, I'm recording, but make sure that this is on your GPU. So if this is AMD GPU or NVIDIA GPU, do not put this on your CPU. It'll make your latency really bad and your FPS is gonna be all over the place because a lot of games are CPU bound. Make this constant bitrate. It's just the best one, most stable. Variable is hit or miss for some people. For me, it used to be good, but not since I got my new internet. Put this to whatever your internet can handle. So for me, mine's only 5.5. I also just don't stream often, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, medium quality. This is just the best area. You don't want to have the lowest quality because you want your stream to look good, but you also don't want to have the highest because your latency is going to be bad. Your FPS is going to be all over the place. If you have dual PC, put this on best quality. Ultra low latency. Um, just helps your latency, as it says. Two passes. It's a it's quarter of the normal resolution. Put this to main or baseline. For me, main works. Look ahead and adaptive optim or quantization. Um, really, just keep it on this. It's fine. Uh, B frames too for recording. Put your recording path if you guys do have one uh, to your second SSD. So see for me, I have my second SSD with tons of clips uh, because then it doesn't run off of your main SSD, which doesn't slow down your Windows anymore. Um, so make sure you guys do that. Uh, next, you guys are gonna want to change your video encoder to your GPU. Rescale. You guys don't need this unless you're on stretch. Okay, now here. Constant, I would do 32,000, uh, so it's the best quality for your clips possible. Uh, zero, medium quality, ultra low latency, two quarters, main, look ahead, two. Same thing. Um, replay buffer, you guys are going to want to make sure you enable this and put this to the time that you want, and I'll show you guys how to use it as well. Audio, all this can be default, you don't really need this. Video, uh, 1920 by 1080, 60 FPS, you could do 30 if you really want, but I wouldn't uh hot keys this is like the button that you're gonna click to clip so for me i click control alt and one then advanced i put my priority below normal it's the best you guys don't want to do idle because then it's not being used at all but below normal is good direct 11 stream delay i don't i wouldn't want to stream with a delay me personally i would like to read the chat when i do stream automatically reconnect you want this on ipv4 uh this you can test for me it's better off me personally it is just better off um but yeah that's really it. there's not too much to do for obs because it's a really easy software and it's really just good but make sure the main thing takeaway is just to have your video encoder on your gpu um yeah and then next if you guys are uh wanting to you know start up like when you open your obs it automatically has clips on you guys can create a shortcut of obs inside its folder let me uh obs let's find the shortcut so it's right here grab it go to properties go to uh i believe it is start in and go dash dash start replay buffer click apply okay and then redo it if it doesn't work um and then basically this is gonna oh no it's in target i'm so sorry it's been a while since I've done it. But basically now when I open my OBS, my replay buffer will automatically um, be on, which means my clips are automatically turned on. Next, uh, make sure you guys have game capture on. You guys don't want display capture. Make it to where it captures a specific window. Window, and then you guys are going to want to put it to your game. You're going to need to open your game, so I'll show you how this works. So I'll open Fortnite, for example. While my Fortnite opens, right? Because you don't want any full stream application because sometimes it'll bug out and also that's just worse and display capture it captures too much so it makes your latency bad 
uh, while it opens, uh, you wait wait for it to be completely open because right now it's just on this screen that it'll be perma locked on. Just give it some time. All right, so once your game is completely open, I'll show you guys how to do it from start. Add by clicking right click. Game capture. Okay. Specific window. Window. Fortnite win shipping or 164 shipping.exe. Bang. That's all you need to do. You guys don't need anything else here. That's all. Yo, I completely messed up the recording. So, for like what I was going to show you guys, uh, I'm going to show you guys some settings. So, on mic, click filters. Put your gain up a little bit for me because my mic is quiet. So, what you do is you right click, click gain. Test it around, see how it sounds. Also, put noise suppression on. Again, right click add, go to uh, noise suppression, and turn RN noise on. And click close. You can also do it for filters as well for your game if you uh, click filters. You can click effect and you could like change how the game looks by like changing the color key and you know you could change the opacity opacity contrast brightness etc it makes it a lot easier uh, or nicer and like more visually appealing to the eye um those are really like the only things you need i would personally turn down your mic a little bit here uh if it's really loud like you see how like if i get really close it gets red that means it's getting too loud uh my desktop audio i turn down a bit so you guys like don't hear everything at max volume um that's really all you guys need to know for the settings lastly what i was gonna say is if i was you guys i would join my discord discord.gg slash ski as you guys can see i have announcements i have our own server guild tag which i you think you all should rock it was very good uh you can also purchase an optimization uh we have services from 20 dollars all the way to 200 dollars fits every budget 235 60 10 or 100 and 200 we also have tweaking information this is basically all the creators and pros I've worked with, Resway, Center Plows, and you guys get the idea. You guys don't really need to do too, too much. Uh, there's also a free file area where you guys can download and use free tweaks I drop. I have TikTok tweaks. I also have a free OS that you guys can use. It is a bit outdated, but it does still work like a charm. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for another view, another like, and another comment. Love you all. Stay safe. Stay blessed.